the F-35 has received a share of criticism, but critics lately have seemed to gone quiet. How is the program presently going? <coughs> I'm actually really happy with where the program is today. Um, in 2011, the F-35 program was rebaselined. There had been lots of issues up to that point, but they rebaselined the program, re-looked at the financing, set new milestones for everything from price curves to acquisition quantities to, to test milestones. Since 2011, every one of those milestones has been met. Mm -hmm. The program has stayed exactly on that new baseline plan. It's come down the cost curves. We know exactly what it costs to build the airplane. The cost is coming down three to five percent every year. Each production <coughs> lock steadily. Uh, by the end of this this 10-year period, by 2019 or 20, it'll cost about 80 million dollars a copy, which is about what we could get any other airplane for right now, mm -hmm. any of our older aircraft for right now. Uh, and so I'm very happy with the program is today. Now there was lots of issues before that. We are now at the point where we're reaping the benefits of that huge investment in the development cost. So walking away from it at this point financially wouldn't make any sense. And I'll tell you this, operationally you cannot. The, the new aircraft that are being built by other countries, China and Russia in particular, that will come off the line in the next three to five years are better, they're more capable, Mm. than the airplanes any of our services currently have in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so if we do not buy this capability that keeps the capability metric in our favor, we, have got, we are going to have a problem. I hope we're not fighting China or Russia anytime soon. We certainly don't want to. But they will export their top-end capability three to five years after they field it. Today, 53 countries around the world fly Russian or Chinese fighters, their top-end fighters. And by 2025, they will be have exported those things, and we will end up facing their equipment somewhere. It's coming. And my view is that a superpower, if that's what we expect ourselves to be, should not accept not being the most competitive technology on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. When people talk vaguely about risk you could accept by not having that, that risk is people. Mm -hmm. it, it's the young men and women that I am privileged to try and lead. Uh, I'm not willing to be quiet about accepting risk with them. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. We shouldn't. Mm 